Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop version 5.1 is now available and started rolling out a short while ago today on the 9th of February 2022. And this is also the first release of the Vivaldi web browser for this year of 2022. Now in this latest version, there are a couple of new handy features, a lot of bug fixes and improvements, and then also the browser has been updated to the latest Chromium platform, which the Vivaldi browser is based on. Now, just to mention and go through those key feature updates quickly, the first one is we now have horizontal scrollable tabs in the browser, um, which Vivaldi say with these new scrollable tabs, you can enjoy having more tabs open without them shrinking and you can navigate tabs by scrolling using your mouse or using the arrows on the left and right of the tabs and um, this is only for tabs on the top and bottom of the browser where before um, tabs um, on the sides of the browser were always scrollable in the Vivaldi web browser and this is also this option is also available in two level tab stacking as well. So just to demonstrate, let's head up to our menu, go to our settings page and go, click on tabs. And now you will see in the tab bar, a new entry and option called enable horizontal scrolling. Hold the shift key when switch tabs by scrolling setting is enabled. So if we go to tab features, you also need to have switch tabs by scrolling enabled. So just to demonstrate, let's enable that option and let's just open up a whole lot of tabs to demonstrate. Now you can see that I can scroll through those tabs. They don't shrink where previously they would. I can scroll using my mouse. I can use the right and left arrow keys. And also I can hold the shift key on my keyboard and use my left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll through those uh, tabs as well which this feature now is available for tabs at the top and the bottom of the browser so that's a nice new handy feature which will just make all your open tabs a lot more easier to navigate through and then the second feature update uh, is Vivaldi now has a reading list which will help you save and easily keep track of uh, pages to read later and refer back to at a later stage so let's go back to our settings and this time we go to the address bar and here you will see show reading list button and this has been available in, a, in the google chrome browser now for some time and also uh, the brave browser now finally has been made available in vivaldi which just lets you save articles and web pages for referral back to at a later stage and then the third and final key feature update uh, in version 5.1 is we now have a quick settings panel on the uh, start page so if I go to any start page you will see now that we have show quick settings which just gives you access to some handy quick settings available straight from your home page um, on that start page in the browser like your background images your start page you have some options and your speed dial appearance where you have some more options and I'm actually um, quite happy that this has been introduced the quick settings because this is quite a handy option in my opinion and then also um, some other improvements have been made to Vivaldi uh, the mail also uh, the calendar and also the feed reader and Vivaldi keeps working on those uh, three uh, features in major updates to the browser as those roll out so those are three key areas they keep working on to improve the uh, mail calendar and the feed reader now if we just head over quickly to the release notes for Vivaldi where yeah I've mentioned those three key feature updates and then we get a list here of the change log uh, from version 5 to 5.1 which is a major update and here we get a whole lot of new add-ons, improvements, bug fixes, which too, oh, there are too many to uh, mention in this video. But I will leave a link to this, uh, these release notes and this change log down below if, if you would like to go check that out more in depth. And then as mentioned, the mail calendar and feeds, those are the, that's the beta version in the browser which is built in. 
as mentioned, they have received a lot of improvements and too many to mention, but I will leave a link down below to this web page if you are interested. And then if we just head back to our menu, go to help, check for updates. This is where you can uh, update the browser if it hasn't done so already. And if we head back to our menu, this time help about. The latest uh, version now is 5.1. 0.2567.39 so that's 5.1.2567.39 and then also the chromium version now is sitting at chrome 98.0.4758.88 and now that's in line with all the other chromium browsers now which the uh, vivaldi web browser is based on and this latest chromium version carries all the chromium improvements and a whole lot of important security updates to the chromium platform so it's important to check that you are up to date especially for those uh, security fixes which have been applied to the chromium engine and i did have noticed or just as a side note that vivaldi went from chrome version 96 missed version 97 and went straight to 98 so that was quite an interesting development that they jumped that whole version 97 of chrome and went straight to version 98 so that's more or less what's new uh, in version 5.1 as i say those it carries those three new features and a lot of other improvements to the browser and then obviously as mentioned those security updates have been applied in that latest chromium engine update so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one